In this lesson, we will review the electric potential V and the electric potential energy U. Let's say we have a point charge right here, and uh, we are looking for the work required to move another charge, a negative 5 nanocoulomb, from P to Q. If we are looking for the work required, that means uh, we are not moving the charge any faster to accelerate the charge. We are just doing minimum work to move the charge. So the kinetic energy of the particle doesn't change. That means uh, the required work is uh, turned into the changing potential energy of the charge. And the delta U equals to Q times uh, delta V. The charge we are moving is uh, negative 5 nanocoulombs. Potential energy and potential, they are scalars. So we need to make sure that we plug in the signs for everything over here. So this is a negative 5 nano is the Q. And then the charge is being moved from P to Q, which means the delta V is the final minus the initial. The final position is at Q, the initial position is at P. So this will be negative 5 times 10 to the negative 9th. The potential at these two points are produced by this point charge. And to find the potential produced by a point charge, we use V equals to KQ over R. So this will be K times uh, the charge that's producing electric potential is the negative 2 micro and the distance at Q is uh, 0.3 and then minus the potential at P that's K times uh, also negative 2 times 10 to the negative 6 and this distance is 0.1. The potential and potential energy, they are scalars, so there's no direction, no components to worry about. And this will give us negative 6 times 10 to the negative 4 joules. Here we have three point charges at three corners of a square, and we're looking for the electric potential produced by these three point charges right there. So we have three point charges producing electric potential, and the potential is a scalar, so we just have to add the three scalars together, the three potentials. So this one gives us a K positive Q, we must plug in the sign for the charge, over R, which is L. The potential produced by that one will be K negative Q over R, which is L. So these two, they cancel. And then this one is K negative 2Q, and the R would be L times the square root of 2. So this is the answer. Here we have a set of parallel metal plates separated by a distance of 0.05 meters, and they are connected to 300 volts. It is used to accelerate a proton from rest. The mass of the proton is given, and what is the acceleration of the proton when it is between the two plates? In between the set of parallel plates, we have uniform electric field. So we can use V equals to ED. The voltage is 300, and that equals to the electric field times the plate separation. So the electric field is 6,000 newtons per coulomb, or volts per meter. And then to find the acceleration, we can use the F equals to ma. So force divided by the mass gives us the acceleration. If we put a charge in an electric field, we can use the F equals to qe to find the force. And the charge is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb, the elementary charge. The electric field, we just found it is 6,000, and the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th. So this will give us this much acceleration. If the plates are connected to this power supply with the positive terminal on this side, that means that this plate, the plate on the left, is going to carry positive charge, and the plate will be negatively charged. That means uh, to accelerate the proton, we would start the proton on this side. So let's say we send the proton in from this hole, and then the, the proton accelerates that way. By the time it comes out the other side, let's say we want to find the final kinetic energy of the proton. If we're using a voltage to accelerate the charge, we can use the kinetic energy gain 
comes from the potential energy loss. And U equals to QV. If we are starting here, ending there, that means we are taking advantage of the entire 300 volts. If the charge starts from in the middle right here and then accelerate to the other end, that means it will only take advantage of 150, half of the voltage. But right now from here to here, that's 300 volts. So the charge, if we just need the kinetic energy in e electron volts, then we can say the charge is 1E, the voltage is 300 volts. So the kinetic energy gain would be 300 EVs. But if we need to find the final velocity of the proton when it comes out the other side, then we'll have to say the kinetic energy is one half mv squared. In that case, we will need the kinetic energy to be in the standard unit joules. So this will be one half m v squared equals to three hundred. Now we all have to replace the elementary charge 1E with the, the standard unit 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb. Now we will have, have the energy in joules. And then we just have to solve for the V. So this will be the speed.